This is the Hori Flex Adaptive Video Game Controller. The Hori Flex Adaptive Controller is for individuals who have difficulty accessing a standard game controller on the Nintendo Switch console. The Hori Flex Adaptive Controller has large buttons on the face that the user can access for different buttons in the game. In addition, the Hori Flex has different ports that the user can plug in adaptive switches into for the different controls on a standard controller. There are also USB ports where the user can plug in adaptive switches on either side of the Hori Flex controller to replace the standard joysticks on a standard video game controller. Therefore, the user can use adaptive switches and adaptive joysticks in place of a standard video game controller. Adaptive switches such as this simply plug in to any of the ports on the side of the Hori Flex controller for the specific button the user wants to be able to access in the game. So if I plug this switch in for the A button on the Hori Flex controller, this now takes over for the A button in the game. In addition, the user can also access the buttons on the face of the controller in addition to the adaptive switches plugged into the Hori Flex controller. Adaptive joysticks such as this can also be plugged in to the Hori Flex controller. The Hori Flex is only compatible with USB joysticks. For USB joysticks, you need to plug them in to the USB ports on the side of the Hori Flex controller for the joystick that you want to take over in the game. So, if I want to take over for the right joystick, I will want to plug it in to the right side of the Hori Flex controller. Now, this joystick takes over for the right joystick in the game. For every single control that you need in a game, you will need to plug in an adaptive joystick or switch or be able to access those buttons on the face of the Hori Flex controller in order to play. So, if I need the A, B, and X button in the game, I will either need to plug in an adaptive switch for all of those buttons or be able to access the A, B, and X button on the face of the Hori Flex controller. In addition, if I need two joysticks to play, I will need to plug in a joystick for each side of the Hori Flex controller. The Hori Flex controller simply plugs in to the Nintendo Switch console on the USB ports on the side of the Nintendo Switch. Before you use your Hori Flex with the Nintendo Switch console, please ensure that the upper right corner is flipped to Nintendo Switch mode and not PC mode. PC mode is flipped up on the Switch and Nintendo Switch mode is flipping the Switch down. Once your Hori Flex is in Nintendo Switch mode, it should be plug and play with your Nintendo Switch console. The Hori Flex settings app allows you to change different settings on your Hori Flex controller. The link to download the Hori Flex settings app is below the video in the notes for the video. The Hori Flex settings app allows you to change different button behaviors and different button mappings on the Hori Flex controller. So I can change which port on the Hori Flex controller corresponds to which button in the game. I can also change how each button behaves when I press it as well in the game. In addition, I can change the sensitivity of the different joysticks that are plugged in to the Hori Flex controller. Finally, the Hori Flex can have different profiles on it for different games. So you can change the settings of the Hori Flex controller and the different button map mappings to be configured on each profile for the specific game that you want to play. To switch between different profiles on the Hori Flex controller, you simply click the mode button that's present on the face of the Hori Flex controller. Then by switching between different profiles, you can set the button mappings to be optimized for the specific game that you want to play on the Nintendo Switch. If I want to edit a specific profile, I simply click on the profile I want to edit, and I can either create a new profile or edit this current profile. Then I can click on the buttons 
and change the behavior or mapping of that specific button on the Hori Flex controller. So for example, if I click the X button, I can remap the X button to a different button when I do a single press on the X, on the X button slot on the Hori Flex controller. In addition, I can change it so when I hold the button and don't do a short press, it'll activate a different button on the Hori Flex controller. So if I hold the button for longer than 0.5 seconds, it'll activate the B button on the Hori Flex controller. Therefore, with the same button, I can activate two different commands in the game. In addition, I can change the sensitivity of the joysticks that I have plugged in to the Hori Flex controller. I can also change the direction of the joystick and the dead zone of the joystick as well. So you can change a lot of the joystick settings if the user is having difficulty with the current joystick that they're using. I can change the settings, like I said before, on each individual profile to optimize it for a specific game that I want to play. Once I have all my settings changed on the Hori Flex controller, I click, I click Save to save it for that specific profile. Then I can use the mode switch on the Hori Flex controller to switch to the desired profile where my settings were changed. This can be done for both the Nintendo Switch and for those who want to play on the PC as well. Therefore, you can have six profiles on the Nintendo Switch console and six profiles on the PC console. Using the Hori Flex settings app, you can optimize your overall setup for different games you want to play and make the button mappings easier for a specific user.